Cheers folks, it's the 24th of July, it's a Sunday. How y'all doing? And me? I'm doing alright. Surviving the heat as I hope you are. Can express concern about um, people, but this that doesn't help <laughs> the situation, does it? Wildfires in California. All sorts of stuff, just hope people are okay and safe. Um, I'm getting on this morning to um, just chat a little bit. What I have in mind is to um, actually encourage folks to uh, pick up on my new release, the Charlie Friedman Exhibit Soundtracks for a Pre the Present Future. Uh, I'm going to play a little bit of, a, of it because this is the one where my music was um, part of an exhibit at the Bemis. Um, I'll get that in a second. And uh, 70, 70 guitars. Um, controlled by MIDI. And it's a room. And each guitar plays one note of the scale. So it's a surround sound thing. So this is the sound of one of my compositions called Afternoon Sun. It's an interesting experience. Um, and so on the uh, CD I also give you the um, original version from the studio, which is this. That's what you're going to hear now. Thank you, Dave Newhouse, for the plug, for the uh, shout out, and for the purchase. Working with you, David, I would be happy to just give you a download, but you insist on showing me support, which means a lot. So, folks, um, grab a grab a digital digital copy of this music. Bandcamp Fridays are over, so. On a, it averages out what I get per um, purchase. So if you pay seven dollars, I get anywhere from five dollars and thirty cents upwards to six dollars and thirty cents, depending on their their percentage and how it averages out over sales. It does actually average out that sometimes a sale I get nothing from it. It all goes to Bandcamp. So I'd appreciate. Um, your support, but more, Im but as importantly, listen to this beautiful music. You know, in a way, it sounds like background music, library music, and that's what it literally is. This is music for my life. It's this music that I can play amongst all this other music that I buy. This is music that I've created that does just what I need it to do when I need it. So relaxing. Folks, I want to just re um, respond to a comment. Someone recently um, made a request for Robert White and Henry Cowell, and I just want to reiterate, folks, that it's fine that people would really enjoy that, but that's not what I'm here to do. Um, I'm just uh, going to do things as I feel them. I'm not going to fill requests. I hope that can be understood. If not, I'm sorry. Looking forward to the interview with Charles Hayward tomorrow. That's scheduled my time 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 7 o'clock his time in England. So the uh, video, when it's done, won't be up until evening my time or afternoon looking forward to it though and been kind of listening to some of his stuff just kind of getting geared up really didn't take much because what he does is the music he plays is part of um 
what I listen to almost all the time anyway. But besides that, the music I did listen to this weekend, I stayed home. It was really hot this weekend and there were activities in Omaha. The Under the Radar Festival, which I usually participate in, happened this week and the, the heat just kept me at home. I just really did not find myself at all motivated to want to go to any of the uh, events. But from what I can gather online, it was a success and I always hope it is. What I found myself getting into was a couple of channels, um, well one in particular, online that I visited before, but I did a bit of a binge this weekend watching almost all the videos. Let me get the name of the channel. He talks about the music of the 60s in particular. Pop Goes the 60s, yeah. I got um, involved watching his uh, histories of certain bands like the Merry-Go-Round and the Zombies and um, I like the guy, it seemed like the guy was really well researched. But that led me to another channel where it was just a one-off. The guy did a a feature on Magma, on, on the Magma's albums starting from the beginning through to this album and the whole Cobayan um, story. It motivated me to get into some Magma and and I did. So I started with um, Mecha excuse me, Mechanic Destru Destructive Commando. It's their third album and um, would have been my introduction to the band when I first saw it in the stores but it intimidated me. Contarcos was the first one I bought and even that one still kind of scared me when I first heard it but it was so powerful and I just love it now. And as the um, feature on the band's music talked about these early these early albums there is much more of a jazz element going on than the straight Zool and chanting thing that um, developed. They talked about how this album, Wuda Uta, I'm not Ita, I'm not going to try to say it with pronunciations, originally came out as a Christian Vander soundtrack album, Tristan and Isolde. But in fact, these compositions were part of what led up to Mechanic Destructive, Com Destructive Commando. So I listened to this in relation to that. Talk, they talked about the album Ka and this one, um, the way it fits in. It really helped. I love Magma, but it even made it stronger. The uh, impression of the music and this celestial music idea of Christian Vanders, of the music. And also the idea that his ex-wife Stella Vander is pretty important in the development of the music. It's not just Christian Vander. Um, they did talk about how there is a perception of Christian Vander because of his intensity that he's some kind of dominant um, mean guy and um, I would probably tend to agree with the uh, assessment that that's probably just what people see and they make their own decision. I'd like to meet him. Almost did when I was in Belgium. Just missed, played in the same place as them, Botanique. At first I thought it was going to be just a night difference that I'd be able to meet them but they their show got rescheduled for a week later and I was I had to come back home and like I said I finished up the magma listening with Zess which includes the Philharmonic Orchestra of Prague and yeah this is grand and it does feel like it's the culmination or like yeah like we've been building up to this this is pretty big this is wonderful Magma, Band for the Times. Other stuff sitting out that got played in the last few days. Gigou Chenevier from the band Etrant Poulet Le Blanc with Sophie Josseron and uh, A l'abri des microclimates. Okay, something about climates, climates. Even without knowing the language, just the expressiveness, the inventiveness, the unique place this, this type of music comes from is all I need. It's just so engaging and unlike most stuff. The only place you're going to hear 
this sound is through is on this record or something by this man's band Etron Poulet Le Blanc. I love shit like that. So, Pop Goes to 60s. Here is a listen that was directly influenced from that. I watched their three-part um, history about the band The Association, who I've always liked, all the way back to the beginning, with Along Comes Mary. When that came on the radio as a kid, caught my attention right away. Never made the connection that the song was about marijuana as a teen. Never. Not, it wasn't until recently when I heard about that being the fact. It's like, oh, I completely missed me. Great band. It was interesting to watch how they struggled with wanting to be, wanting to be taken seriously as an album band, but also wanting to retain hits because the record company wants hits and hits pay. There were no hits on this album, but this is really good. Real good. Just called The Association. A rather goofy album, but musically very enjoyable. Seventh Wave, Sci-Fi. And before this, they were in a band called, they had a band called Secondhand. Um, when this came out, I immediately wanted it, couldn't find it at first. I finally got it as a cutout, as you can see, by the corner. I love that cover, still this day. It's just very intriguing, and it's like, who thought of that, you know? Because it's just... It's just, it's like something out of a dream or something. Uh, that image just really is very striking to me. And it didn't, and it also include, made it even better when you see the picture of Kieran, I think is his name, Ken Elliott, with the extra hands. Pretty cool. Hugh Banton of Vandergraaf Generator also plays on this album. And it, and it fits because the timbres and the patches on many of these songs on the synthesizers are, are pretty unique and fat and really nice sounding. Pull this, I'm going to keep it for a number of reasons, but it's just almost unlistenable. The Dead Sea. Some of y'all know about the Dead Sea. And all I can say is, you know, it's the spirit of what Dead Sea does that I'm more like aligned with than wanting to listen to because I know how to do stuff like this where you're working with sound and an idea or maybe not an idea but you just set something up and you start making sounds and you see what happens that's what most of this sounds like it's not that engaging I have stuff that I think is much more interesting excuse me that I've done along these lines but I'm going to keep this Dead Sea but Going the other direction, Deer Hoop is a band. They have a new album coming out that just they were showing online as they were working on it. I really like that band. And here's a live album from Japan, Fever 12, 16, 14. Just love this band and was really happy to meet them, seen them a couple times. Greg and Satoshi, very nice people. Satomi, rather. Greg is my kind of person. He's um, paying attention to the world. You know, I had another. Um, um, I will I will name call. I had another anonymous jackass attempt to gaslight me and I just erase it because it's like I'm going to keep talking about this because it's not more commonly known and people need to understand this. The motivation behind people's words comes through real strong and clear and to try to throw shade on the fact that I speak the way I do concerning events and people is bullshit. Here's what's going on with me. It's like, you know, besides just living my life, why not do this? Matter of fact, I feel a sense of purpose speaking out like I do. There's not enough of it. People showing concern and wanting to try to find a way to bring more accord. There's to try and throw doubt on what I'm doing or to just whatever that term was. I forget it already. That's low. We need unity and we need more people on this page. It's real simple what I'm doing here. It's speaking my mind out of concern. Not some sort of weird political motivation or whatever is totally polluting the, 
minds of all these other people that is caught up in the two-party bullshit. So I won't stop. Okay? I know what my purpose is. Back to the music. Yucatalanen from Finland, I believe. I bought this years ago. Cross Section. It's a compilation. I got it after I got his album with the black cover. Talanen. Mountains on that album. It's one of my favorites. It's a gorgeous song. After, as a matter of fact, my song, Afternoon Sun, at the beginning, is in that trajectory of trying to be that kind of a song, like Mountains on the other Tallinn album I'm talking about. This is really good. He's a great guitar player. Over the years, he's had drug problems, has been in and out of prison. I, I hope he's okay now. More Deerhoof, The Runners 4. This is one of the best, and they made, they made a bunch of records. And maybe I shouldn't be saying that, but this is this is one that really connects to me. And on this one, they really capture that kraut rock feel on some tracks. There's one track on here, I forget the name of it, but it's like, it could have been done by Faust in their heyday. That's quite a thing to say from my point of view. Let's keep going until I'm done showing you what's in the stack. This is, I guess, from the last few days. Jammed out on this a few days ago, Eddie Henderson, trum trumpeter who was with Herbie Han Hancock for a long time. Sunburst, 74 or 75 is when this album came out. I bought it when it first came out. Yeah, I've kept it in good shape. I kept my brother from, from stealing this one for me. This is a funky mother. Great compositions as well. And Alfonso Johnson's bass playing on there is a standout. It's bass playing is a standout. Super Sister from Holland, present from Nancy. Now this is a band that came to my attention because of Soft Machine and Robert Wyatt. They definitely have a Canterbury thing going on with the way they compose. There's also a sense of humor here. Robert Yan Stips, the leader of the band. Interesting guy. Great album. Present from Nancy. Someone was showing this on the Prague group. I was pleased to see it show up in Prague groups. It's not Prague, but there are progressive rock musicians who have played with this guy. Alan Stibble, Celtic Harp, beautiful music, folk, beautiful. I have several of his albums. This one is Elengoned, beautiful stuff. If you don't know his music, find out, please. And that's it for what I have, sh that's it for what I hadn't shown. So folks, I hope that you're okay, whatever part of the world you're in, because there's just mess everywhere. I'll stop the video by in, in, and I'll leave the link. Please, I um, would like um, I would like your support. I would, I would, I'd appreciate it. That Bandcamp Friday made a difference, and it's gone now. So please think about buying um, a digital copy of my new music or something else in the catalog and have a great day or evening whenever you see this.